Thanks for joining once again. So in the next video, we are going to talk about how to create a character style in MS Word. Character style in MS Word or probably for any other tool plays a very important and significant role because it describes the readers or shows the readers the importance of certain content, be it a text, a letter or a certain para of text. Now, whenever you want to talk about a character style, the first thing that it comes to your mind is either a bold or an italics or an underline. But besides that, when you do documentation, there are certain symbols, um, certain program system messages that we actually work on, like an error messages, uh, notification messages, tooltips, tricks, where uh, character style plays a very important uh, role. So what I'm going to do is just going to talk about and visualize to you what is a character style, how do you create this and what, how to do the job. And so fundamentally what we have seen is most of us have actually got this tendency that whenever we want to, let us say I want to make this, uh, I want to make uh, from this particular thing, I just want to make a certain content. Or let's say I just want to make start it uh, in bold or in red color. So what we do is that we just go and select red. And the moment we select red, it becomes red. But what happens is that what we have done is just for that particular position, we have applied that particular style. Ideally, what you should have done is or what you should do right now is, for example, let us say we want to create this as a text for which we for which we want to apply full text and also make the color red or use the color red or make the color red. Now what happens is that let's say we want to use bold color for this particular text. Uh, for this also if you want red color and uh, or, or, or basically. So what we do is that select this particular new style here. And just like the character style, a paragraph style, just write something. So just for our red and bold, so what we do is that we write a style here and we call it strong. And strong we call, no, no, style type. Strong is already existing over here. So let's just call it strong one. And the paragraph style that we have is called character. And the style based on which already exists. So sort of like make it a bold. And we apply a style called Gelsense. We keep it for well point font and we change the color just for our understanding. We, we change it again. Now, what happens is that when I do an apply red, red, you immediately see strong one applied because for that red. Now, if I select this particular letter and apply strong one, it also becomes red. If I select a particular letter X for this matter and apply strong, this also becomes red and bold. Now let us assume that tomorrow you suddenly decide that all right fine for strong I suddenly want to change the color and change the color from red let's say I want to make it uh, give it a brown uh, orange color so I turned it and then applied OK. Immediately you see the all the other places have also turned uh, all the other character styles that were applied to text or a letter has also turned down to uh, the corresponding color that we want and this is the advantage when you use a certain specific style called a character style rather than just going and doing a bold and italic so this is why we should use it and this is how we use a character style in the next video we are going to talk about how to create a table of contents thank you